Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to present my paper about human error probability analysis using success likelihood index methods approach in clinical activities. My name is Indra Sandiase from Department of Safety Engineering, Polytechnic Perkapalan Negeri Surabaya. In the first slide, I would like to talk about the introduction. The human error has been well known as the most contributing factors to accident. And the previous study illustrate that the reduction in human errors will naturally lead to a reduction in cost. Hendricks also concludes that unsafe action was contribute 88%, also unsafe condition was 10%, and unpredictable factors was 2%. Account for this accident were analysis in 7,000 of N50 and 500 accident. The SLIM approach is, is a technique applied in the human reliability analysis and aims to analyze the possibility of human error that occurs when conducting a job. 31% of accidents occur in, interna in international companies in Surabaya in jets in steam boiler manufacturing for accident in the grinding process. The grinding activities can be dangerous among others if there is a lack of operator expertise operation are not following SOP and the tools were not checked before the operation conducted. So the aims of this study was to obtain the value of the human error probability in clinic activities. Thus it could be employed as prevention and controlling consideration in safety and health field. Uh, and then we talk about the material and methods. This is the steps of slim approach. The first one was the selection of expert judgment. Expert judgment consists of a group leader, environmental health and safety, inspector, and the supervisor. The criteria of determining expert judgment refer to Xiong and Wen words uh, that they have to include participating in the design and evaluation of grinding safety process and having participated in the assessment of grinding activities. And the second one is the determining of task analysis. Uh, the task analysis uh, was uh, breakdown by breakdown by the expert judgment according to the instruction of the activities. And they they was verified by IHS manager, the new operator, and the expert judgment. And the third one is the determining of PSF. The PSF was performance shaping factors. They illustrate that the factors that influence in error occurrence. The determining of PSF was conducted by the expert judgment. And the fourth one was the development of weighting questionnaire. The weighting illustrate the level of influential in each PSF. The, and the fifth one was the assessment of PSF. The assessment of PSF was conducted by the expert judgment according to the weighting in the previous uh, steps. And the sixth one was the rating of, of PSF on each task. The rating is illustrate the quality of each task in each PSF. And the seventh was the calculating of SLE value. SLE value uh, was illustrate the value of uh, success to avoid the accident occurrence. And the last one, the, and, uh, the converting of SLE value to HPP value. This is the equation that we used in this research. The first one was SLE and the log of HPP to obtain the HPP value and then the equation of POS. And next, we would like to talk about the result and discussion. This is the table of the weighting performance shaping factor. Uh, the weighting illustrates uh, the level of influential of each PSF in each task. Uh, for example, the task 1 
use PPE, follow my requirement, illustrate that uh, in this task, the procedure was the highest weighting, giving the meanings that uh, in this task, the procedure was the more influence uh, to produce error occurrence than the others uh, BSF. And then, uh, this is the figure of the weighting of PSF. In this figure, illustrate the PSF, the weighting of PSF value and the normalized value. This figure also uh, shows that the weighting of procedure is the highest uh, than the other PSF according to the influence in the each task. And then uh, we talk about the rating of PSF and SL value in each task. The rating illustrates uh, the quality of each task in each PSF value. For example, in the task 1, use PPE following requirement illustrate that the procedure and the experience was the highest rating of in this task, giving the meanings that procedures and the experience uh, that was conducted in this company was a good enough in uh, to in thus to use the PPA following requirement. This is the value of SLE, HCP, and BOS value. Uh, from this table, illustrate that the if the task one this PPA following requirement has the highest HDP value was uh, 0 0.0005828 it also given the meaning that it has the highest POS uh, uh, sorry the lowest POS uh, was a uh, 0.9994172 uh, while the Lowest of HEP value was the task, task 2, the prepare a document following the requirement, was a 0 0.0003835, giving the meaning that uh, this task uh, also have the highest US value was a 0 0.999615. From the result and discussion, uh, we would like to give the recommendation to reduce uh, the data, uh, uh, data accident data. The first one was the task description. The procedure classified into work instruction, uh, given the meaning that the task, uh, task description have to develop more details and presented as job safety analysis because the job safety analysis consists of uh, how to do the task in each task with the following requirement and the second one was the providing work instruction socialization the work instruction was required to provide detailed explanation related to work instruction and then increase the supervisor, supervision to ensure the implementation of procedure and work instruction. And the third one was the arrange of time and rest time. It was necessary to, re to study to regulate work time and rest periods of workers. And then the fourth recommendation was the complexity of work job was could be minimized by compiling more detailed work instruction and conducting training and retraining. The last one was the experience. This is uh, the important thing to recruit the worker who had a qualified skills as a good base for safety behavior. So we conclude uh, this uh, study. The first one about the green day activities contain high risk of potential hazard and the accident data analysis illustrate that the frequent accident due to the human errors. 
the influence factors that uh, influence the grinding activities to produce the error occurrence, post procedure fatigue, complexity training, and experience factors. And the highest error, uh, the task that had highest error probability is the usage of specified PPE with the HEP value of uh, 0 0.000528, which means the probability success is the lowest compared to other tasks. This result shows that the, this task most often result in accident uh, caused by human error. And the lowest error probability value is the task of preparing documents and under what has been determined with the HEP value of 0 0.003835. And the recommendation of the study to reduce the value of error probability by compiling detailed work instruction as job safety analysis and also it have to employ uh, knowledge was to improve through the training of social training program for accident prevention. The, the, the supervision should be increased to ensure the procedure and instruction in job safety analysis is implemented. The management of the time and the period of workers should be conducted to certify the worker obtain the workload according to their capabilities. The worker records is applied to find the appropriate worker who has qualified skills. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.